The call for an autonomy to restore the past has just got louder in East New Britain province. Three months ago, the PNG government finally agreed to the province's request for autonomy, something that took several decades to achieve. Autonomy means the provincial government will have control over most of its internal affairs, including political structures, financial arrangements and administration. We in this committee will help the governor and his government to restore those lost opportunities. The launch came 12 months after the ruling PNC party formed the government and one of its agenda was to decentralize powers to selected provinces. National governments cannot be everywhere. Likewise, provincial governments cannot be everywhere. Districts cannot be at the ward level continuously. That is why decentralization of responsibilities and services to layers of government is very, very important for the success of our country. East New Britain province has one of the oldest government systems in the country. Its roots go back to the early 1800s during the German colonial rule. The natives who were able to attend the colonial schools were educated and have become largely aware of the issues affecting their lives inflicted by the colonizers. Over the years, frustrations accumulated until 1969 when the educated natives bound together and formed the Mataungan Association, an anti-colonial movement which one of their main agendas was to set themselves free from the white rulers. Until 1995, following numerous reforms, the province was introduced to the national and local level governments. Many have seen the second and third tier of government as a catalyst introduced to quell secession movements and it took down what the province had already achieved prior to the government reforms. We had a village court act, we had a land act, we had many other laws, but the, the new organic law came, all those laws were thrown out. So we have to restart. Public confidence in the government service delivery in the province has dipped in recent years. Education standard has dropped immensely, health services continue to ail and road infrastructures have deteriorated beyond repair. The launching of the autonomy two days ago was an apparent gesture of reconciliation and is expected to rebuild and restore those lost confidence. While the government appears to have said yes to autonomy, the move is set to in motion debate over the process which was followed. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.